fat and oil. Oil and fats belongs to a group of organic compounds known as lipids. Eh? Okay, so oil and fats is called uh, lipids. Eh? Okay, oils and fats are natural or uh, occurring ester. So, so this oil and fats are ester. Okay, they are ester, and fats are found in animals. Eh? Okay, oils are found in both animals and plants, but fats are found in animals. Okay, so that is the brief introductions to fats and oil. Eh? The molecules of a fat, the fat molecule is formed between glycerols and fatty acid. Okay, let's see glycerol first. Okay, this is a glycerol. Okay, this is a glycerol, and then so we can see that there, uh, there are three OH group here, right? Okay, this three OH group. Uh, OH group is uh, is called the hydroxyl. Okay, hydroxyl, and uh, before this we have learned that. Uh, hydroxyl is the functional groups of alcohol, right? If you still, if you still remember this OH, uh, okay, uh, it's the functional groups of alcohol. Uh. So which means this glycerol is an alcohol. Glycerol is an alcohol, but it has three hydroxyl, eh? okay, and we call this a triol. Eh? This is a triol, okay, triol, but it's an alcohol, eh? okay. So three carbons, eh? three carbon with uh, hydroxyl attached to each carbon. So this is called a triol, and uh, we call this a glycerol. Eh? Glycerol. And then um, this is fatty acid. Fatty acid. Eh? What's the homologous series of this fatty acid? Alkene, alkene, alcohol, carboxylic acid, ester. Carboxylic acid, yes, that's correct. That's correct. Why? Because it has, okay, the carboxyl group. Eh? COOH, uh, the carboxyl groups. So it's a uh, carboxylic acid. Uh, okay. Now carboxylic acid with um, five, five carbons to eighteen. If I'm not mistaken, okay. If I'm not mistaken, five to eighteen carbons uh, are considered fatty acid. Okay. So fatty acids are carboxylic acid. Uh, okay. But then uh, uh, only carboxylic acid with certain number of carbons. Uh, not all. Not all carboxylic acid are fatty acid. Okay. For example, uh, uh, ethanoid, propanoid acid, they are not fatty acid. Okay, only uh, this carboxylic acid with 5 to 18 carbons, uh, if I'm not mistaken, okay. Uh, I can't really remember the number, but uh, uh, only with certain numbers of carbons, uh, uh, okay, it's considered fatty acid. Uh, from this diagram, we can see that we have glycerols and then we have fatty acid, right? Uh, this glycerols, glycerols can combine with this fatty acid. Eh? Okay, uh, through the process called uh, hydrolysis. So when they combine, okay, when they combine, uh, this H and OH will be removed, will be removed and form water. This will form water, okay. So this H and OH will be removed and form water. Then the fatty acid, the fatty acid will join with this uh, glycerol. Okay, so the structure will look something like this. Okay, so then you get something like this. Huh? Okay, so you can see that the fatty acid huh? combined or joined or bond with this glycerol. Huh? Okay, to form a molecule like this. This is the molecules of fat. Okay, and then uh, actually we need to have a plus H2O here, plus three H2O. Okay, because uh, it will form three water molecule. This is the molecules of fat. Huh? Uh, you need to know that a fat molecule is formed by one glycerol molecule and three fatty acid molecule. Okay, differences between oils and fat. Fats are solids at room temperature while oils are liquids at room temperature. So that's the difference between uh, fats and oil. Okay, fats are like animal fat. Yeah, animal fat uh, when you eat, if you eat, okay, chickens, uh, okay, beef or what. Uh, you can see that there's a fat there, right? Okay, fats are solid at room temperatures, okay, but oils are liquids at room temperature, and the melting points of fats are higher than the melting point of uh, oils. Okay, that's why that's why at room temperature, okay, fats are solid because it has a high melting point. Means at room temperature, it has not melt yet. Okay, if the melting point is higher, so higher than the room temperature, so at room temperature that it will exist as solid. Eh? Okay, but for oil, the melting point is lower than room, uh, the room temperature. So therefore, at room temperature, uh, the oil is already uh, melt. Okay, from solids eh, to become liquids. Okay, 
Uh, this is important, eh? you need to know, eh? okay? because sometimes uh, they will ask this in uh, objective questions.